I told you last night about the US Department of Energy report that is dynamite for the energy debate here in Australia. The report found that electricity would be 37% cheaper using nuclear power with renewables rather than using renewables and storage only, the model that Australia is trying here under the Labor government. The report examines advanced nuclear power options and it promotes a tripling of nuclear power in the US and it finds very clearly that nuclear has an essential role in the energy transition as a clean, firm complement to renewables. For more on this, let me bring in Jasmine Diab from Global Nuclear Security Partners Australia, joining us live from Perth. Good to speak to you again, Jasmine. Um, this report um, uh, is a brilliant piece of work, but I guess the findings of it won't have surprised you. No, Chris, it is saying what the nuclear community here in Australia has been saying for a long time, that nuclear is a great supplementation to renewables because having to build overcapacity and storage means that renewables is actually quite an expensive venture. And nuclear is a great way to get that clean, reliable, firm energy grid into a mix, and Australia should be considering that. And when it comes to costs, it focuses on some of those cost advantages that Labor and the Greens and the Teals all seem to ignore. And that one of them is that when you build a nuclear power plant, it's a valuable asset that will last at least 80 years. You don't have to replace it every 15 years like renewables. And also you save on all that transmission cost because you have a, a concentrated focus of power that is built near transmission infrastructure already. Yeah, it really highlighted that the levelised cost of electricity, which is what has been used predominantly for energy modelling in Australia, is not a good way to model nuclear because it doesn't show the true benefits. Nuclear is energy dense, so from a small uranium pellet you get large amounts of energy, which means you can concentrate that power and its transmission, as you were saying, into smaller areas so you're not having transmission lines spreading kilometres and kilometres across a country trying to get electricity to where it's needed most. And I think it was that part of the report that really highlighted that the economics of nuclear are different and we need to take that into account. Its operational costs are low, its power plant life cycle is really long. You're looking at 80 plus years for these modern reactors. And that's, a, that's how we need to model if we were going to introduce nuclear into our energy mix into the future. Yeah, it, all, it, all, it, is, uh, it is logical and all the facts back it up, yet in Australia we still have political dinosaurs like this banging on about costs. Take AGL, the owner of Loy Yang A, which has said the cost of nuclear is prohibitive, or Alinta, which has said nuclear energy is like looking for a unicorn at the bottom of the garden. Unicorns and nuclear. Now, the point is uh, we can look at what other countries are doing, but let's stick with the US because of this report. They're building new nuclear reactors. They're going to build five to ten under one design so you don't have to reinvent it along the way. It's obviously an efficient way to do it. And they're restarting retired nuclear reactors as we speak. Yeah, the US have been quite ambitious in its transition. It's wanting to triple its capacity from 100 gigawatts to 300 gigawatts in um, before 2050. And so they have to be quite ambitious with these builds. And they've learnt from the start-up of Vogel 3 and 4, their most recent power plants, what they've learnt and how they can do it faster and more economically. And so I think this report is highlighting some really great lessons that Australia could take on to embark on a nuclear journey. Um, it isn't the most effective, it isn't the most expensive energy system. This report has proven that we need to start having an adult conversation about nuclear in Australia. Yeah, spot on. Thanks for joining us, Jasmine. I appreciate it.